What's up, Bucks fans? I'm your host, Anna Witte, and we are back with another edition of Rapid Fire Questions. And I'm pumped to introduce this week's guest on the show. He's a transfer student from Winona State in Minnesota, and he has joined the Bucks golf team for his final year of collegiate athletics. Tyler Beck, welcome to Charleston. How are you doing? Thank you very much, Anna. Uh, I'm doing really well. Yeah, are you enjoying it down here so far? Yeah, I am. It's uh, quite the climate change for sure. And uh, I'm really enjoying the nice weather here as uh, I think it's snowing currently back home. So, you know, it's it's nice as a golfer to be able to enjoy some nice weather. So my first question for you is from, you're from Wisconsin. So I have to ask, what's your favorite cheese? It's a tough one, but I would say uh, definitely white cheddar cheese curds. Um, and yes, they do have to be deep fried. That's 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 the key with a little side of ranch. Um, most definitely, that's, that's my go-to. So I saw where you played football on your high school team. Uh, which sport was your first love, golf or football? You know, I, I would definitely say golf came later. I originally had uh, really enjoyed playing basketball, but um, I stopped playing that midway through high school um, and really caught a, a love for golf, I'd say, early, early part of high school. But that's kind of uh, what I knew I wanted to do um, going forward. And, and I'd say I'm, I made the right choice. I really enjoy playing golf. So dream golf course to play at definitely augusta national um just because it's completely an iconic place and the history behind it would be just amazing to, to see the facilities and uh just walk that same course that numerous uh, great golfers have walked what's one thing on your bucket list while you're living in south carolina That's a good question um you know i i did have a bucket list uh I guess thing checked off this past week was playing the ocean course at Keogh Island where the PGA Championship is being held this May. Um, and I was able to do that, um, which is an awesome experience and really just a treat to be able to go out there. So I would say that was one of the bucket list items I've actually already checked off. Okay, cool. So what is your favorite app? Favorite app? I really like Twitter. Um, just complete content wise, it's I think it's elite. It's been consistent for uh, so many years that, you know, they really don't change the platform up. And I'm not really, uh, I don't have TikTok. I don't, I'm not really into the new trends. I just like the consistency Twitter's had for so many years. And there's uh, just a lot of good information you can get on there. If you had to eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Definitely pizza, um, pepperoni in specific. I can, can eat a few pizzas a week. So I try to limit myself and just for nutrition. But uh, yeah, pizza's, that's that's my uh, my love with food for sure. Okay, so I know you said you got here at the beginning of August, so you haven't experienced a full winter or a full summer in Charleston. But what would you prefer, a winter in Wisconsin or a summer in Charleston? Definitely a summer in Charleston. I, I was here beginning of August, and it was rather hot for the first month. Um, you know, even with, even in September, it was pretty hot as well. But you know, those Wisconsin winters, they, they last about six months, uh, sometimes, you know, five if you're lucky. So it's it, it's brutally cold and, you know, I, I, I can handle some heat, so I don't mind that. Yeah, and not seeing the sun for that long of time is not good. <laughs> yeah, you wake up and sometimes you wonder if it's even going to ever come back out. But uh, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Which golfer do you watch to get better at your own game and why? Um, You know, I, I would say uh, I really like watching uh, Jordan Speed generally, but he's kind of had some struggles recently. Um, but I just think, you know, he's not a super long, long hitter off the tee. Uh, does things generally well around, around the greens when he's playing well. So, you know, I, I do enjoy watching him when he's playing well, but I guess I can't say at the moment he's really doing all that great the past two seasons, so or two, three seasons. So it's, uh, you know, I hope he can get back on the right track because I really enjoy watching him play. Do you keep plans with friends or do you enjoy when they get canceled? Oh, definitely. Like I like when plans go through for sure. Uh, that's, that's no fun when plans are getting canceled, so. All right, favorite show on Netflix? Oof, that's a, that's a good one there. Um, hmm. See, is, is uh, Ozark on Netflix or is that Hulu? I can't even remember right now. No, that's, a, that's on Netflix. I would say Ozark is, that, that was pretty good. I, I really enjoyed that, and I watched that twice or three times, so I think it's Ozark for sure. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Yeah, it's, you know, it's really good. The second time's the, probably the best, because the first time you get a grasp of what's going on, but you got to rewatch to 
really take it all in and had to give it a third try too, so it was good. Do you, are you one of those people who like rewatches series if you really like it? Not generally, honestly. Um, okay. I mean, I did watch Breaking Bad probably four times, so that which that was super long. Um, but I, I'm actually really not a huge TV person in general. But there's a couple couple different shows that I will be going to watch multiple times, so I'm not afraid to do that. Okay. If you could live in any time period or decade before the 2000s, what would it be? Definitely the 1980s. I think uh, I think people were just living it up back then. And I think, uh, you know, based off some things I've heard from parents and relatives and whatnot, I mean, just, just a great time to be alive. So I would definitely say the 80s. Who would you want to play you in a movie about your life? Probably uh, Will Ferrell. I, I think, you know, there's not really many movies he he doesn't he doesn't get me laughing at. So, you know, I think he would uh, do a really good job just making a joke out of potentially anything that would come in play. So I would say Will, Will Ferrell for sure. Oh my gosh, my favorite movie of all time. And I'm not a rewatcher of shows. Literally, I've never rewatched a series. Kicking and Screaming like takes the cake every single time. That's a classic for sure. I watched that so much show when I was younger. I mean, I, I played that a ton. DVDs, of course, back then, but yes. uh, I had a lot of I remember fun. when I went to see it and my parents bought me like one of those boxes at the movie theaters that had like candy and popcorn and a drink. Yeah. It was like, it was perfect. And I love that you said it's a classic because my friends give me a lot of crap for that and they say it's not old enough to be a classic, but you're right. I'm glad you agree with I, me. I think, I think it's a classic. You know, I'd go, I'd go with that. It is. It's like over 10 years old now. Oh, exactly. That's considered a classic 100%. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, what's one thing that you miss about the Midwest? Oof. Um, you know, probably just friends back home, maybe. I, I've got a lot of really good friends and, and family in specific, too. You know, I, I have a great family and just people, I'd say. You know, other than that, um, in terms of climate or really anything in specific, I wouldn't say so much. I'd just say more people. Um, so yeah. Okay, and you're in the process of getting your MBA right now. What do you want to do once you graduate? Good question. Um, I want to go into some type of real estate, um, specifically commercial real estate. I would like to work as like an analyst in commercial real estate. Um, I just really kind of enjoy real estate in general and learning about it. And I think you can do a lot with it. Um, and then on the side, I'd like to um, personally invest in some real estate once I have the capital to do so. But I, I really just think it's a good spot to, to build uh, personal wealth as well as um, you know, work in, it, it's a good industry to get involved with. So I think that's what I want to be doing. My last question for you is, what has golf taught you about your life? Uh, so much, um, but I think, I guess one thing important is you really learn how to, you know, you really learn how to grow up, I guess, being on a golf course, because you know, so much of golf is, there's so much mental aspect that goes into the game. Um, and I just think you, you really learn how to, uh, you know, be a mature adult on the golf course. And you learn manners, you learn, you know, how to talk to people. You're on a course for five hours with random people you've never met. So, you know, it's, it's really just taught, I guess, respect, hard work and perseverance. It's a super difficult game. It's sometimes you wake up, you hit it just horrible. The next day you hit it really good and you can score well. So, you know, it, there's a lot of ups and downs with golf as well. And I think it's just a really tough sport to stay mentally focused in at all times. And it's just really helped me out with a lot of things doing that, so. All right, Tyler, thank you so much for your time. It was great getting to know you and good luck this season. Thank you very much. I appreciate you having me.